Comedian Cat Williams has recently made sensational accusations against several high-profile comedians, suggesting that they have purportedly traded their integrity for fame. Kevin doesn't have to worry about what people are going to say about him wearing a dress because of the long line of dress wearing people. Notably, his claims target a list figures such as Kevin Hart, Steve Harvey, and Tiffany Haddish. In the realm of Hollywood, it's not uncommon for allegations of soul selling for celebrity status to surface every few business days. Is there any validity to Cat Williams' claims against these comedians? Did Kevin Hart, Steve Harvey, and Tiffany Haddish truly compromise their principles for fame? Let's delve into the matter. Over the past few years, Kevin has presented himself as a globetrotting comedian. But according to Williams, his tours are more widespread than truly international. Cat Williams is renowned for his unfiltered honesty regarding the antics within the entertainment industry, unafraid to call out colleagues for their foolish behavior. While this candid and no-nonsense approach may not have earned him many friends, Williams takes pride in maintaining his personal integrity, avoiding unethical compromises to advance his comedy career, something he alleges is not the case for figures like Kevin Hart and Steve Harvey. According to Williams, black men in the entertainment industry often face undue pressure to engage in peculiar activities to achieve the level of success enjoyed by their white counterparts without the same struggles. One such claim is the alleged insistence on wearing dresses during live television appearances, as a prerequisite for fame. When Cat Williams discusses the dubious culture within Hollywood that appears to threaten the emasculation of black men, one of the comedians he points to is Kevin Hart, whom Williams believes is always ready to compromise for financial gain. Intriguingly, Dave Chappelle also touched on a similar theme during his appearance on The Opera Show in 2006. Chappelle disclosed that he once turned down a $50 million deal from Comedy Central because he couldn't accept the money without sacrificing certain principles. In the show business since I was 14, and uh, I've heard the stories mm -hmm. of what happened, and I've seen these kinds of things play out in front of me. Okay. When I saw when you say you heard the stories, what do you mean? What stories? I mean, you see it before. Look, Mariah Carey made a hundred million dollar deal, and three months later, she's all of a sudden mysteriously crazy. Or Martin Lawrence punches through, and he's waving a gun on the street, screaming, "They're trying to kill me." Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we hear those stories. And it always happens around the time of their career where it seems as though they're crossing over the next plateau. Yeah, yeah. The question on everyone's mind was, why reject $50 million? Chappelle clarified that he wasn't walking away from the money but from the circumstances that accompanied the newfound success. He emphasized the need to adjust to the unfamiliar environment that comes with breaking through to a new level in the industry. Having been in show business since the age of 14, Chappelle had heard stories and witnessed instances where individuals faced challenges upon reaching a new career plateau. Chappelle also discussed how major media companies offered him money to create sketches that mocked him rather than entertained. The conditions seemed to be that unless he humiliated himself, he wouldn't be permitted to attain wealth and fame. The more intriguing revelation came when Chappelle recalled being asked to wear a dress for a movie, an experience that made him connect the dots and realize that many other black men had been subjected to similar requests. He expressed skepticism, acting as a self-professed conspiracy theorist, about the industry's practice of putting every black man in movies in a dress at some point in their careers. Chappelle recounted an incident where he was pressured to wear a dress for a movie he was starring in alongside Martin Lawrence. Despite asserting that it was irrelevant to the scene, producers persisted, citing it as a rite of passage followed by all the greats. Chappelle stood firm, refusing to compromise his comfort for the sake of a comedic bit. He highlighted that the real issue wasn't the dress itself but the industry's attempt to push artists into compromising positions to test their willingness to do anything for success. When Kevin Hart was questioned about Chappelle's claims in 2012 regarding the industry forcing black men to humiliate themselves for money, Hart emphasized the importance of artists protecting their brand and not crossing their boundaries. Regarding Cat Williams' accusations that certain comedians have traded their integrity for fame, the question arises, is there substance to these claims, or is Cat merely expressing resentment? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments, and we look forward to hearing from you in our next interaction.